and good evening everyone. Thanks for clicking on WDTP.com. I'm Carrie Lingaliotis. And I'm Ben Katko. Here's the top stories we've been following here on 5 News today. One man is out on bond after he led police on a chase through multiple Clarksburg neighborhoods. It happened early this morning. And police said that they saw 30-year-old Jeremy Nichols hit a man with his car on Milford Street shortly after 2. That's when Nichols took off. Police chased him through the Steely and Hartman neighborhoods before ending up on Chestnut Hills. Now he drove off the hillside on Taylor Street and then fled on foot. Police brought in a K-9 unit to track him. A neighbor on Van Buren Street told police that they saw Nichols in their backyard. Police arrested him around 2.30 this morning and charged him with fleeing while DUI. More charges are pending. We have an update now to a story involving a baby who had to be taken to the hospital earlier this month. Today we found out the baby's mother has been arrested. That's in addition to the woman's boyfriend who was arrested last night. A five-month-old Harrison County boy is at Ruby Memorial Hospital with broken ribs. Sabra Hardman was arrested just a little while ago. Her boyfriend, 35-year-old David Mazza, is the child's father. Police confirmed to us here at 5 News today that the baby was taken to the hospital after his grandparents saw that the child looked lifeless and was having trouble breathing. Once at the hospital, doctors noticed the baby had broken ribs, a brain bleed, was dehydrated, and had marks on his ear and finger. At least one looked like a burn. They called the sheriff's department because they didn't think these were accidental injuries. Hardman is facing two counts of child neglect, resulting in serious injury. Maz is charged with the exact same thing, but just one count. Well, for the second time in less than two weeks, a coal miner has died at a coal mine in Raleigh County. 44-year-old John Miles died last night at Pocahontas Coal Company's Affinity Mine, the same mine where 43-year-old Edward Finney was fatally injured on February 7th. According to the State Department of Commerce, Miles died after being hit by a scoop at the mine around 8 o'clock last night. Now this death makes four mining deaths in the last two weeks here in West Virginia and six since November. That's prompted Governor Earl Ray Tomlin to sign an executive order today calling for a mine safety stand down for the whole state. Coal operators will stop production for at least one hour during a 24 hour period starting this afternoon to re-stress safety. The state mine safety office will also be sending inspectors to various operations. Both the West Virginia Coal Association and United Mine Workers Union say they support Tomlin's decision. Last night on 5 News at 11, we told you about a meeting at Bealington Middle School where parents and school officials talked about drug use going on in the schools. Today, we talked with the Barber County Superintendent who told us all administrators are making sure students are safe at that school. And the topic came up after police were apparently called to the school during a dance last Friday. Some teachers thought a few students were acting suspicious, but no drugs were found. Both the Bealington Middle School principal and the superintendent hope stressing the importance of talking with your kids will keep drugs out of the schools. Probably made a smart move. Hey, I got the parents here. Uh, let's talk about concerns related to drugs with our students. So we just seized the opportunity. Took, uh, it was a teachable moment, and then he took advantage of it. Uh, he was very positive about the meeting, looking for ways that we can involve the school system. Parents uh, have a good collaborative to address the problem. Now we'll have more from the superintendent as well as law enforcement and what they're doing to keep drugs out of schools on WDTV.com. Spending time on Facebook might sound like a surefire way to turn your brain into mush, but it turns out hanging out on the social networking site can actually benefit the minds of older Americans. A recent study found that adults over the age of 65 perform 25% better on memory exercises after learning to use Facebook compared to their counterparts who didn't. The lead researcher on this says the findings may have something to do with previous studies which showed how learning a new skill and social interaction can sharpen mental abilities. This recent Facebook study is based on only about 40 people, so much more research still needs to be done. All right, let's take a quick peek at what we're working on in the newsroom for Fox 10 and 10 and 5 News at 11 tonight. First up, any pregnancy comes with risk, but we'll talk about why mothers of a certain age could have a riskier pregnancy that could have long-term effects on their child. Plus, some police departments in the state are using outdated protective gear for their officers. We're going to talk about a bill introduced to the state legislature designed to get them the best protection possible. And that's what's making news this evening. Of course, be sure to tune in to Fox 10 and 10 with Carrie Lynn Galliotis and 5 News at 11 tonight with myself for the latest news and weather. And until then, have a great night.